This is the Boeing BBJ Max 7, the longer range and more efficient version of the first 737-700 BBJ rolled out in 1998. Boeing is well known for its cutting-edge products in the defense and space environment, and is even more familiar to most as a maker of commercial airplanes. But there are other strings to this aerospace giant's bow, one of which is the private jet market. Boeing's first foray into the business jet market was in 1998, when the first 737-700 BBJ rolled out. Naturally, as the 737 was reformed into the longer range and more efficient 737 MAX, Boeing was keen to add a BBJ line to this new jet. Today, we're going inside the Boeing BBJ MAX 7 to talk about everything you need to know about this huge aircraft. Inside, the BBJ MAX 7 offers an additional passenger cabin space than the traditional BBJs, and the cabin is 6 feet 4 inches or 1.93 meters longer than the normal BBJs. Measuring 11 feet 7 inches or 3.5 meters in width and 7 feet 1 inch or 2.15 meters in height, the MAX 7 features a luxurious, spacious and comfortable cabin that can carry up to 19 passengers for a relaxed and home-like experience during flight. Inspired by the starry sky, the ceiling is adorned with thousands of tiny LED lights, adding sparkle and glamour to the jet's interior. Particularly notable are the smooth organic curves in the design, ridding the cabin of the harsh, angular furniture most commonly seen in aviation. The communal spaces are divided up into areas for relaxing, meeting, and working, with a large dining table for boardroom sessions or formal evening meals, all while offering high passenger comfort by providing a maximum cabin altitude of 6,500 feet or 1,980 meters at maximum cruise altitudes, and an average cabin pressure maintained during long-range flights at 5,600 feet or 1,700 meters. Boeing's MAX 7 BBJ may have rolled off the production line, but the company only delivers the planes fly-ready. The planes then get sent to a completion center that will outfit the passenger cabin to the buyer's specifications. While individual preferences vary, standard BBJ cabin inclusions include bedrooms, office space, galleys, eating and entertainment zones, bathrooms, and showers. Arguably, the most important space in any private jet is the master suite, and this one does not disappoint. A king-size bed is surrounded by LED lights, giving it the impression of almost floating off the floor. We love that they've incorporated cabin windows at the head of the bed, giving occupants an opportunity for some cloud gazing while relaxing in their suite. Naturally, the bedroom has a huge TV, one that rises up from the sideboard furniture to give smooth lines when not in use. There is storage for clothes and the same starry ceiling as the main cabin. The best part has to be the ensuite bathroom, which incorporates a full-size rainfall shower and a large sweeping vanity unit. It's neat how they've incorporated the emergency exit into the design, giving passengers a quick escape but without making the room feel industrial. And finally, at the rear of the aircraft, there are 275 cubic feet or 7.8 square meters of cargo space below the deck, despite featuring auxiliary fuel tanks. Talking about performance, the BBJ Max 7 takes the best features of the older generation BBJs and builds on them. The aircraft is powered by CFM Leap 1B engines, each producing 28,000 pounds of thrust. These engines have 10% lower operating costs than the original BBJ while having a longer cabin and more underfloor baggage space. Because of its new, more fuel-efficient engines, the MAX 7 has reduced fuel burn and emissions and requires less cargo volume to be reserved for auxiliary fuel tanks, irrespective of flight length. This combination is able to push the aircraft to a maximum cruise speed of 470 knots 
and up to a maximum cruising altitude of 41,000 feet or 12,500 meters. Fitted as it is with a regular fuel tank of 10,500 gallons or 40,000 liters, the BBJ Max 7 has a maximum range of 7,000 nautical miles, which is 8,053 miles or 12,960 kilometers, which equates to a direct flight between Dubai and Miami, or a flight from New York to Milan and back. Without refueling, the plane can take off in about 5,500 feet or 1,676 meters, has a maximum rate of climb per minute of 3,100 feet or 945 meters, and a minimum landing distance of 3,000 feet or 900 meters, all while maintaining a maximum net payload of 32,400 pounds or 14,700 kilograms, and a full fuel payload of 2,618 pounds or 1,187 kilograms. Boeing asks around $91 million for a fly-ready BBJ 737 MAX 7 before the buyer installs their bespoke cabin fit-out. The BBJ MAX 7 is a relative bargain to operate, while the annual fixed cost is roughly $800,000 to $1.2 million. The hourly variable cost is estimated at $3,000 to $5,000 per hour. In contrast, an older style Boeing 747 business jet costs a cool $13,000 an hour to operate. The BBJ Max 7 is an exceptional business jet, and we know our customers will be thrilled with the airplane, said David Longridge, president of Boeing Business Jets. The 8,000-mile range will connect key city pairings that were previously not possible in a BBJ, and increased cabin and cargo space makes this an unbeatable business jet. The MAX 7 inherits all the features of the already launched BBJ MAX 8 and BBJ MAX 9, including an updated flight deck, improved aerodynamics, and a reduced noise profile. Despite being larger and more capable than the current BBJ, the new MAX 7 has the lowest operating costs of any Boeing business jet aircraft. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.